for the next function is piecewise function. Piecewise function is combination more than one function. This function to write in form with curly bracket and normally every function has limit in x. For example, a given fx equal to negative x squared and x less than 0. And the second is x plus 5 and x greater or equal to 0. That the combination quadratic and linear function. To sketch the graph, I am suggest to sketch two graphs separately and the last we can combine into one axis. Now, we divide the table for the two columns. And the first row, we write the interval of x. For x less than 0 and for x greater than or equal to 0. And the second row, we write the fun function. y equal to negative x squared for the quadratic maximum. And the maximum point at 0, 0. And refer the interval of x, x less than 0. Therefore, we erase on the right graph and for the second function y equal to x plus 5 the linear graph and intercept y exists at 5 at 5 and we can erase on the left for x less than 0 the solid dot now we can combine for the to exist x exists y exists and quadratic maximum at 0 and the linear intercept y exists at 5 and the label fx. Therefore, the domain of fx is from negative infinity to infinity. And the range of the function is from negative infinity to 0, not including 0, union from 5 to infinity, including for example B, we have three function in piecewise function. The first is 2x minus 4 for x greater than negative 4 and less than or equal to negative 1. Second, 3 minus 4x for x greater than or equal to negative 1, less than or equal to 1. And the third is set x for x greater than or equal to 1. Now, we divide the table for the three columns. For the first row, we write the interval of x. First, x greater than negative 4 and less than or equal to negative 1. Second, x greater than or equal to negative 1 and less than or equal to 1 and the third x greater than or equal to 1 for the first column y equal to 2x minus 4 the linear function And the graph is intercept y exists at negative 4. And the graph is increasing. Next, refer the limit of x when x 
equal to negative 4, y equal to negative 12. And when x equal to negative 1, y equal to negative 6. We can plot the two points. Negative 4 and negative 1. Y, negative 12. And 6, negative 6. We can delete for the unrelated line. Next, for the second function, y equal to 3 minus 4x. Also the linear function. And intercept y exists at 3. And the graph is decreasing. Refer the limit of x. When x equal to negative 1, y equal to 7. And when x equal to 1, y equal to negative 1. x negative 1, y is 7. And when x equal to 1, y equal to negative 1. And we can delete for unrelated line. For the third function, y equal to set x, the graph set. And the starting point for the graph set at 0, 0. And refer the limit x greater than or equal to or x equal to 1 y equal to 1 x1 and y1 you can erase the unrelated line now we have the three separate graph now we can combine the graph into one axis. The value of x negative 4, negative 1, 0, 1, and the value of y negative 12, negative 6, 1, 3, and 7. For the first graph, from negative 12 for y to 6, to negative 6. And the second, negative 1 to 7. For the second graph. And the third is graph set. When x equal to 1, y equal to 1. And increasing. And the label is fx. For the piece y function. Therefore, the domain of the function is from negative 4 to infinity the graph is continuous to infinity the range of the function is from negative 12 to negative 6 including negative 6 and continue to 1 including negative 1 to infinity. 
That's all. The end of lesson 2, given the exercise, sketch the graph of the following functions, hence state the domain and range. Given fx equal to 2 plus set x minus 1 and question b fx equal to modulus x plus 1. You should try to solve this question and discuss with your lecturer. Okay, thank you.